So going back to this idea of uh, non-rectangular video, we really don't have to stick with televisions anymore and we can pretty much make the video fit whatever we want and uh, just as an example here got a couple of 3D objects in front of uh, a screen and with a little bit of fiddling first uh, we're going to make the show fit these uh, very non-conformist screens and uh, do a very good job of it in the process so uh, let's see how we do it so the first thing you need to do if you want to do this is to uh, make yourself comfortable because it is going to be a little bit fiddly and then uh, Best to work with a still image, select a still, something that's got colour all the way to the edges and it's got an easily identifiable centre and what we're going to do with this one is uh, shrink it down then move it into place. Let's put the centre smack on there, shrink it down a little bit, oh there we go. And then in the filters menu we're going to find perspective transform and uh, as you can see we just drag the corners until we get it to fit the box perfectly. A little bit hit and miss, but uh, you'll pretty much get it with a bit of practice. Oh, there we go. Let's try the other one. Right, that looks good. And finally, bottom left. Okay, a little bit of overlap there, oh, not anymore. And uh, once we've got that there, we can just swap it uh, for a piece of video instantly, of course, because it's modulate. Then we'll add another layer, and uh, let's go back to our uh, little lineup picture and drop that in. Give it a bit of color, let's do it green this time, and let's move it over to the centre of that side of the box. Once again, same filter, perspective transform, and we're off already. So, uh, down over there. Yep, and once that's in place, we'll uh, pop a different bit of video in. So you can see this is starting to work, work out quite nicely, isn't it? We'll do the last one, uh, we'll put a background in, and uh, job's done. Uh, last but by no means least, we're just going to go into the transparency options for each layer and uh, give them a fade out time. So we can swap clips for any of these layers as we go and uh, of course all of the presets are going to save and we can just uh, change the footage pretty much instantly on every layer. I'm sure you can use some of the other modules to, uh, to automate the, uh, the movie swapping. So that's the basic idea. I'm, uh, I'm sure you'll be able to take it and expand on it further but there's no reason at all why you have to shine one projector on one screen with Modulate, we can be completely modular and uh, you can work miracles.